how to manage your eBay business more effectively and save time using one auction tool. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm speaking about an auction listing tool called Activa and I'm gonna be walking through some of the main features of this website and kind of explaining how it can help you with your productivity and running your eBay business. So as you can see, I'm actually logged into the tool now and the first thing I'm gonna point out to you is their listing feature. So you can create listings in Activa. So literally you just click the create new listing and it will take you to this page where you can create your listing. So the very first feature here is you select what website you're working from. I'm actually from the UK, so if I was creating a listing, I would select UK. Um, and then the second thing that it has down here is the master profile. And what this basically does is if you create a listing today, you can save that as a master profile. So the next time you're listing that same item, you don't have to create the whole listing again. You literally just go to the master profile, select the listing that you've done in the past. And obviously that saves you a bunch of time because you don't have to enter all of the details again. This is good if you're, uh, maybe if you're stocking a product in the summer and you're only stocking it in the summer, for example, and you wanna keep that, the listing template there because you're gonna use the same listing template next year or something like that. So this is a great way to increase productivity so you don't have to you know, be, be redundant and do the same listings again and again and again. Um, this skip to section tool just makes it easy for you to navigate through creating your listing. So if I click the marketing tools, it will take me all the way down to the marketing tools. Um, item details, here you basically just select your item title and you can also select a, um, a subtitle. And as you can see, whatever feature has that dollar sign, it means that there will be an added cost to actually having that feature. So if I added a subtitle there, then it will charge me some extra money. And this link basically just takes me to the eBay fees page so that I can understand what the fees would be if I was to add a subtitle. Now, another really cool feature of Octiva is actually the fact that I can um, save individual sections of my listing. So as before, we spoke about saving an entire listing. If you created a, an entire listing, for a certain product, you can save that for later if you need it again, but you can also save just sections of your listing. So for example, if I was, if I wanted to save just this title and subtitle, then I can actually um, click, uh, save it, and then once I save it, it will be here in my load profile section. So that comes really helpful, especially for things like shipping. If your shipping information is the same for every single product, you can create a profile for your shipping information so that every time you list a product, you just have to load the profile for your shipping information. You don't have to re-enter it for every single product that you create. And then of course, the usual things, you can add a category by clicking manage list and add a category and a subcategory for your item. And you can also add your item um, condition, just basically the same as if you were in eBay. And then if you scroll down, you can actually add your description. So let's say I wanted to add a title. I can put my title up here and then I can actually make it bold. I can underline it. Um, I can change the color of it if I want, just basic things here. I can also add an image to my listing by just selecting this image. I've already got one uploaded, but if you wanted to upload an image from your computer, you just click the upload images and they, they will come here and um, I can literally just click that and it will be there and if I wanted to change the size just double click and then I can put whatever size I want it to be I can play around with it and make it the size I want um, so yeah that's you know I can add more text there if I wanted to and that's the basics of creating your description um, if you did have HTML code that you wanted to add to this then you just click the source button and it will take you to the HTML where you can add some of that. But if you don't, you can just simply edit your description here and it will save here. Now, another really cool feature is this auto save. As you can see, it says auto saved and it gives me a time that it actually auto saved and um, I can restore it if I need to or I can preview um, my listing. And then down here, obviously you add your images um, in the same way that you would add images to any other um, eBay listing, you click on that and then these are the ones I've already uploaded and like I said before you can actually upload images to um, Activa so 
before you even get to this stage, you don't have to upload images every single time you create a listing. All of your images will be here um, and they'll be categorized if you've categorized them. So you can literally just choose the image that you want to upload and um, it will tell you what num what order they will be as well. So obviously number one would be your thumbnail image. Number two would be the second image that people will see and number three would be the third image. Um, so it will tell you what, what um, order that they will show in on your eBay listing. You can also select a template. So if I just click the templates here and click preview one of them, you can actually see the different templates that you can add and the different templates that you can use. So you don't have to have a plain eBay description. You can use one of these templates and um, it will show you exactly how your item, your item listing will look. So if I close that. So as you can see, I can choose the marketing tools here if I wanted. If I click maximize, it gives you the options. Um, I can also choose my shipping tools here. And then like I was saying, you can actually create a profile for all of these different things. Every, every time you see this place here where it says load, you can actually create a profile for this. I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second. You can create a profile for each and, and every one of these tools. So I don't have to fill these in. All I'd have to do is select what profile I had chosen and it would just be really quick for me to create my eBay listing. Now, another really cool feature I like about Activa is this tool out down here which says post schedule or save this listing so you can literally save it you can save it as new you can post it straight to ebay or you can schedule the listing to go out in the future so you can create it today but it doesn't have to go out today you can schedule it for later on so that's a really cool tool now with activa you can actually create your own store or your own website to promote your ebay listings which i think is quite cool so if you literally come up here to where it says stores and click stores home it will take you to this page which gives you a little bit more details about their store um, as you can see they have a 30-day trial that you can um, utilize and you if you click on this it will show you how your store will look so I'm just going to click on this real quick so you can see how the store would look and as you can see I've got the home page I've got an about page a contact us page and a blog and it really looks like an actual you know professional website so if you are someone who was, is looking to promote your eBay store by using your own website then this is this might be an option for you. Now another cool thing about the website is you can actually utilize Activa's email marketing software so when someone makes a purchase from you from your website that you create with Activa you can actually contact your past clients via email marketing and you can upsell your clients or keep in contact with them so that they can become repeat clients to your eBay business. And lastly, I wanna talk about inventory levels because Activa also helps you to stay productive and keep on top of your inventory. So if I come up here to where it says um, eBay sales and then I click on add item, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So you can add an item name and this will just basically be whatever item it is you're talking about. This is particularly helpful if you're doing wholesale items or if you've got a lot of any one particular stock and you can put your stock level here. So your stock quantity there. And as you can see, you can choose to be notified. So if your stock is running out, say if you only had four left of a specific stock, stock you can put four there. And as you can see, if I hover over that, it says notifies you when available quantity reaches this number. So imagine every single time your stock reached a certain number, instead of having to worry about it, if you have a lot of items to, to care about, you get a notification by email from Activa saying, you know, your stock is running out, make sure you contact your supplier before your stock runs out. And similarly, this post threshold here, when I hover over it, it tells me what it does. So it says it notifies you when posting, if available, content reaches this number. So what Activa does, another cool thing, is if, for example, you have 10 items and you wanted to list two items a week, then you can easily do that. You don't have to actively go onto eBay and list those two items per week. You just set it up in Activa and it will automatically list those two items a week for you. And talking about automation, you can actually do automatic feedbacks on Activa as well. So if you wanted to leave your buyers automatic feedback so you don't miss any feedbacks and you can stay on top of it, which is important, especially if you have a lot of customers, then this tool can really be useful. So hopefully after this video, you now understand the main features of Activa. 
and you know whether or not it's the right fit for you and your current business. If this video did help you out, then please click the like button down below. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos, subscribe to my channel, because I will actually be doing some other walkthrough videos of some other useful tools that may help you with your e-commerce business, so subscribe for that. Have a great day, and I will see you soon.